Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have a pretty interesting thing to show you guys, and it's gonna be something for the off-road crowd. Um, most of you probably don't know this, but I laugh, I, most of you probably don't know this, but I enjoy off-roading. I actually have a forerunner. And so what I got today is this. It's a Lieberway, I think that's how you say it, Lieberway, something like that. Lieberway three quarter inch shackles uh, in red. So let's open the box and see what they look like. All right guys, here we go. We open it and shiny red shackles and a card. Happy, we're just happy that you're happy. If you don't know how to express your newfound joy, we've got a few suggestions. Tell your friends and family, share your experience by writing a review on Amazon. Cool. Yeah, I bought these on Amazon. They cost about mm, 20 bucks or so, something like that. I forgot exactly how much I paid for them. But let's pop one out and see. Ooh, they're pretty dense. There you go. So interestingly about this box is it's just the shackle. Um, so they spin out like this. Seems like some half decent paint. Um, okay, not too shabby. What these do not seem to come with though are any sort of washers. Um, for those of you who may not be sure, may not know about off-roading, when you have a set of D-rings, this is a pretty, pretty solid metal, and it's going to sit in another solid ring. But as you're driving down the highway, what can happen, and I'm assuming will happen without a set of washers, is this constant sound as you're going, a clunking sound. So I think I might need to get a set of washers, but this will be a pretty short review. Um, they seem pretty good. Um, nice, heavy, thick. The paint job, I'm not 100% sure of. Um, it may be okay, it may start chipping, not really sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll take a picture, I'll post it in the video in a little bit of what they actually look like. Now, interesting thing about D-rings, for those of you guys who may not have had any, maybe you're considering getting some for your, your off-road rig, maybe your, your little Subaru that you take out back, you want a little uh, D-ring hitch mount that you're gonna include, is on a lot of vehicles, what you'll find is a hook. Now this hook is your either tie down from the factory, um, but in a lot of cases, they're not actual recovery points, or at least they're not rated recovery points. Now on my 4Runner, I don't have an off-road bumper. I don't have an additional bumper. I just have my two factory tie downs in the front. These are not rated by Toyota. And so by putting the D-rings on them, you put them on there at your own risk. In the future, I plan on getting an off-road bumper to replace the existing one, but for now, I don't have one. So keep that in mind if you are gonna purchase something like this, that these are likely gonna be much stronger than where you hang them on unless you have a rated recovery point. You wanna stay safe. Cause imagine something like this flying at you at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour because it snapped off. It's not a good time. So everyone, let's all just try to be safe. Uh, like I said, I'll take a quick video after I pop these on the 4Runner so you can see what they look like actually on it. My 4Runner's red, so hopefully this will match good. Um, and yeah, that's kind of, I think, all that I got for today. This will be a pretty short video, but um, yeah, thank you guys. And like I said, I'll, I'll cut out from here and, and show you a little clip of what they look like. Thanks. All right, guys. Like I said, I was going to put them on the 4Runner. So there they go. And keep in mind, as I was saying, that point right there, that welded joint is not rated by Toyota. So these are going to be largely cosmetic. If you do need to get pulled away from somewhere, you'll probably be okay. But the D-ring is going to be much stronger than that welded joint. Eventually, I may replace, or not replace, use something instead. Uh, a couple companies make some better uh, rated recovery points that I can screw on right alongside of there. But for right now, these will just be hanging across the front. There you can see the other one. Um, and they'll be, like I said, mostly cosmetic unless I need a quick pull um, out of somewhere. So thanks for watching and take care, guys.